displaying sale discount percentage on your Shopify store. Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Today we are delving into the intricates of Shopify, the renowned e-commerce platform that empowers countless entrepreneurs to bring their business online and reach a global audience. Specifically, we'll be focusing on a vital aspect, the art of displaying sale discount percentage on your Shopify store. So first of all, we should know the significance of offering discounts in the first place. Discounts have been a cornerstone of marketing for decades and for good reason. They entice customers, prompt purchases and drive revenue. It's a way to show appreciation to your customer base and encourage loyalty. But how you present these discounts is equally important. The manner in which you display the discount percentage can make all the difference in catching the eye of potential customers and convincing them to make a purchase. So research has consistently shown that consumers are more likely to make a purchase when they perceive a clear and substantial discount like this. In fact, it's human psychology at play. When we see a sale or a discount, our brain releases dopamine that pleasures hormone creating a sense of excitement and urgency to take advantage of the offer. However, presenting discounts effectively is not as simple as it sounds. Many Shopify store owners struggle with determining the best way to showcase these discounts. Should it be a simple mention of the reduced price or a bold display of the percentage reduction? The answer lies in understanding your target audience, their preference and implementing strategies that resonates with them. Moreover, the way you present discounts can shape the perception of your brand. A well-displayed discount reflects professionalism and transparency. It shows that you value your customers and are committed to offering them best deals. On the other hand, a poorly executed discount display can leave customers confused or skeptical, potentially driving them away from your store. But our goal gives our customers an incentive to buy our product and that incentive will only be given when you show them a specific discount. So today our mission is to equip you with the knowledge and techniques needed to effectively display sale discount percentages on your Shopify. We'll guide you through the steps, best practices and strategies to ensure that you not only attract customers but also provide them with a seamless and enjoyable shopping experience. We'll start by exploring the fundamental steps within Shopify dashboard to set up discount display and then only we will finish out this tutorial. So if you are a Shopify store owner looking to boost sales, enhance your customer's journey and master the art of presenting discounts, effectively you are in the right place. Make sure to stick around till the end of a comprehensive understanding of the essential aspect of e-commerce. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on valuable content like this. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of Shopify discount displays. So first of all, open any browser on your PC and log in to your Shopify store. Type in Shopify and log in to your Shopify store first things first. And after logging into your Shopify store, you are going to see a dashboard that looks something like this. And here we'll have these options on our dashboard. You will have to basically go to your online store. Click on the online store option under the sales channel. And here we have themes. Under themes, you will see a customize button right here. And just to the left of this customize button, you will see these three dotted icon. Click on it and you will see a drop down menu. In this top down menu, we'll have view, rename, duplicate, download theme file and edit code. You will have to basically click on edit code. After you click on edit code, you will see these codes on your screen. So this is a very long code right here. We are not going to go deeply into how to edit these codes and how to do this and that. It will be very lengthy process. I will show you a basic trick through which you can quickly show any sale percentage on your Shopify store. So here you'll have to basically go to the search files option and in the search bar, place your cursor and type in card-product and then you will see an option here saying card-product.liquid. So this is the result that matches our search. This is card-product.liquid. Make sure it looks something like this. If it's not card-product.liquid, it will be written as product-card.liquid. So there can be a subtle difference in this, but not too much. 
So basically click on this card product liquid. Here the basic thing you are going to do is simply search for this line. It's written as products.product.vendor and in order to find it you will have to search for it for a very lengthy period of time. But I'm not going to make you work that long. I will show you a trick through which you can basically find that code in seconds. So simply after coming to this codes, search for card product, go to the card product.liquid, click on it, view this code and here you will have to basically click on this code first, click anywhere on this code, on the interface of this code and then you will have to press CTRL plus F on your keyboard. So after pressing CTRL and F on your keyboard together at the same time, you will see a find and replace option that looks something like this. And here you'll have the option for find, replace, next, previous, all, replace all and replace. Here navigate to the find section, place your cursor in the find and type in sale and hit enter. After you type in sale and hit enter, you will see this code right here that says settings.sale batch color scheme. And under that you will see this code. So basically we will have to target this code and we were searching for this exact code on our Shopify. So navigate to this product sale code and just copy it. Right click on it, copy it and go to paste bin in order to paste it for future use. So if you mess up your Shopify store in future, you will have it here in order to copy it again and paste it back to your code. But most of the time it doesn't happen because I've already tested this thing. So after copying this code, you will have to basically cut out this code and paste a new code right here. And in order to do that, you will have to click on the link in the description and go to this site that is paste bin. Here you will have this code posted by someone. So we will copy this code from this website. Make sure you go to the link and copy this code. After copying this code from this website, we will go back to the code that we were editing. Select this code and paste it right here. Right click on it and click on paste. After that, the previous code will be deleted and this code will be now set as the default sale code on our Shopify store. After simply following all these steps, you will have to click on the save button right here. Click on save and then this code will be saved on your website. After that, click on the exit button at the top left corner. And here we will be navigated back to our online store. You will have to click on the view your online store option. And after that, we will see that we have successfully added this 33% sale percentage on our Shopify store. Here we can see that we have successfully done this pretty easily. So just simple process through which you can do this. If you want to edit this and make it something else, you will have to basically go to your product section on your Shopify. Go to the dashboard, click on products, navigate to the product that you want to change, click on that product and here basically change the pricing. So for example, I'm setting this compare at price at 30 and if I decrease this pricing so for example if i set it at 15 i will have successfully changed the discount percentage directly i will have to basically click on the save button again and then go back to my online store and refresh it after refreshing it and setting new prices i can see that this code is easily working on my shopify store i've successfully changed that sale discount percentage again it was very easy process and I've shown you exactly how you can do that just by using codes instead of using another apps on Shopify. So we have successfully and strategically positioned the discount percentage near the add to cart button and close to the product image. This ensures that customers immediately associate with the discount with the product, encouraging them to proceed to checkout. So before we conclude, I urge you to go ahead and implement this sale discount percent change on your Shopify store and experiment, analyze the result and tailor your approach to what works best for your specific audience, what kind of discount you should give and what suits to your audience best. That's a wrap up for today's video. If you found this information valuable, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful tips and tutorials on optimizing your Shopify store. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next one.
Bye bye.